we're going to speak with yet another <laughs> uh, one of the architects of Obamacare. They had a lot of people put input into this law, as you know, about what's going to happen to those folks who are in insurance limbo right now, coming up later in the show. And while the president did take blame yesterday, it was a very different story when House Democratic leaders, all of whom voted for Obamacare, were asked if they, who made similar represent representations to the American people, would like to now apologize to them. Well, I have not apologized. I don't think there's anything for us to apologize for. The statement, if it was limited to the, the bill itself, was absolutely accurate. I agree with Mr. Hoyer. What the president said in regard to the Affordable Care Act is absolutely so. I was absolutely accurate and said nothing in the bill is going to take this policy away from you, and that is accurate. It was accurate, right. and it is accurate. Wow. Okay. Dana Lash is a conservative radio show host and TheBlaze.com contributor. And Josh Barrow is politics editor at Business Insider. Panel, welcome. Um, this may be my favorite uh, sampling from the day. If we can get the soundbite of Nancy Pelosi and President Obama uh, both speaking about whether the president's promise was accurate or not. Watch this. As far as the Affordable Care Act is concerned, what the president said was completely accurate. There is no doubt that the way I uh, put that forward unequivocally uh, ended up not being accurate. <laughs> that's, that's like, I, I mean, it's embarrassing, really. Is, is it not embarrassing, Dana? I mean, hello, it's reality knocking. And it's already been admitted, Ms. Pelosi. Yeah, it's already never... been admitted by the president. Yeah. Uh, Megan, I've never heard anybody take so many words to use to say that I lied. I mean, all you have to do is just, you can cut all of it out and just simply say, I lied, instead of having to say all of this other stuff. Well, she can't there even no admit what he promise, admitted. Nothing. He wouldn't say yeah. I lied, but he said it was not accurate. And she comes out today and says, he didn't say anything inaccurate. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, I'm going to I'm going to cover for him. He didn't lie. The bottom line is that they knew they knew what was going to happen, Megan, as far back as 2010. That's why you had Democrats on a party line vote vote against a provision that was that came from Republicans that would have saved these plans that would have prevented another regulation in Obamacare from canceling all of these so plans. Where's they the voted apology? against it. Where's the apology? Yeah, Rob? Exactly. Lo love means never having to say you're sorry, apparently. And uh, that's the that's the <laughs> policy. In fact, actually, do we? We have it. <laughs> Do we actually have that? <laughs> Watch. I forgot my key. Jenny, I, I'm sorry. Don't. Love means never having to say you're sorry. Sorry, Josh. Sorry, Josh. That's uh, all right. I had to, <laughs> but. Hello, the president can apologize, but Nancy Pelosi can't. Danny Hoyer, these, they're so offended that it would even be asked. I, fi I find it very strange. I think the White House has figured out that nobody's buying this line anymore. The House Democrats are still trying to use this legalistic approach where they say, well, if the insurance company hadn't changed her plan at all in the last three and a half years, then there would be nothing legally forcing them to give it up. But, but what I find so strange about this discussion is the idea that you would do a reform of the American health care system, which is a very broken system. We spend twice as much money as our peer countries to get about the same outcomes, and we still leave 47 million people uninsured. Can we stay on point? How, how are we ever going to do a reform? form of this system without making people change their health plans. Oh my gosh, can, can so, we, we're, we're, we're so off point. Where's the apology? Where is the acknowledgement? The question is, are these Democrats we just heard from still living in fantasy land, Dana? I mean, Nancy Pelosi came out today and said, I've never, I've never said that, I'm trying to find it here, I've never said, as the president uh, did, if they like their plan, they could keep it. Meantime, take a look at her own website. We've got a picture of it right yeah. now. On her website right now. Keep your doctor With and your current plan quote. if you like them. Hello, hello, exactly. Earth yeah. calling Nancy. I think that's saying it. That's saying it, Megan. She said it. The pull quote on her website, she said it. They need to own it. I mean, the American people aren't stupid. And like I've said before, you can't fake people out of getting cancellation notices from insurance companies, five million Americans now, being told they don't have coverage. They're out there just left in the ether. They have no recourse. They have a website that doesn't work. They have an 800 number that directs them to limo repair shops. There's nowhere for these people yeah. to go. They're, they're in the not meantime, in the ether. nobody wants to take responsibility. Quickly, Josh, go ahead. They're, they're not in the ether. They're going to get new coverage. I mean, the in the states where the, the 14 states 
where the websites are working. We're seeing people signing up. They can still sign up through private health insurance market, which is where they were insured before. In general, these lines are these letters are offering them new coverage, and then hopefully, I, I certainly Worst hope they're going to fix the Worst website. Coverage. At what cost? These letters that may it, or may not come from their insurance companies, if they right. decide to do it, if their state insurance commissioner says it's okay, at what cost? It depends on the person. Some people will pay more, and some people will pay less. Right, which but is that not was the what same. the law was but designed to do. nobody was supposed to pay more. No, yes. no nobody well, was supposed to pay nobody more. Nobody was. All right, we're going well, to take that impossible. up. We're going to take that up with with one well, of the many Obamacare architects coming up. You guys, thank you both so much.